Oh, what a glorious, glorious morning. How's it going, ladies and gents? How are you doing? It's motorbike time out on the Happy Hippo. Oh, yeah. Ditchling Beacon, baby. Ditchling Beacon. Hell yeah. Keep that bike from us down. So we are well on our way through 2022 now. End of January, start of February-ish, thereabouts, whenever this video comes out. And, uh, yeah, I hope your year has started well. Mine has started absolutely amazingly, mostly. <laughs> so 2022 for me started off with a week of testing myself daily to make sure I didn't have the COVID. And I didn't, although sadly a couple of my friends did, but they weren't badly affected by it, thank goodness, thank goodness for that. So if any of you lot are being all isolating and all that sort of stuff, my sympathies go out to you. I do hope that you are well and not suffering too badly with any of the symptoms. Um, but yeah, I think we're all going to get it. But that's enough about that. That's enough about that. Uh, so yes, this year has gone off with a bomb. It's been amazing for me and I'm so stoked to be able to tell you some news very, very soon in the future. Um, yes, give it a few weeks and I shall be speaking to you with secrets and stuff. And look at that view. Can't look too hard because like there's grit all over the road and I don't want to fall off and die. There actually is salt on the road. I didn't really want that, but I'm not surprised on this side. It doesn't dry out very well and it is chilly, although it's only five degrees. It's five degrees, so it shouldn't have any black ice or anything to worry about. Um, so anyway, at least it has been gritted. <laughs> I do love this ride along here. The views out there are just incredible. The mist and haze hasn't hasn't burnt off yet. It's still a bit too cold and early for that um, on this wintry day. Uh, but it is still very lovely, still very lovely indeed. It's actually quite eerie seeing some of that mist out there because it just it looks it's just weird. I know the camera won't be picking that out too well. Um, but yeah, it's it is very eerie but lovely and wow blue skies above me fantasticals oh we've dropped another degree four degrees now so uh, yeah i will sort of uh, be tentative on my brakes and on my speed on these sort of hairpinny bits especially when there's grit and gravel all over it <laughs> So like I say, this year's got off to a good start for me. I am quite happy and all stuff and all that sort of things, especially with how well the review did of this motorbike. Um, I was blown away by how well that's done so far. If you haven't watched it, you should go and do so. It's an awesome motorbike. It's an awesome motorbike. Um, but we've got things planned. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but we are going away. We've got our first proper camping trip sorted. Um, there's a few of us going. Uh, I'm not going to say who exactly yet because not everyone's confirmed yet. But um, it should be pretty. It should be pretty brilliant. It should be pretty brilliant indeed. Going down to Salisbury like we went uh, before, uh, but this time I'm going on the bike instead of in the van. Uh, so yes, but that's not till April time. That's not till April time. Uh, there's loads of other stuff going to be happening before then. I'm hoping an awful lot of dirty bike time. I've got my tyres ordered, including the tubeless systems, which I mentioned on the last video. They should actually be arriving today. They didn't turn up when I was expecting them to. It was a different parcel that I'd ordered that I had the tracking details from. Um, but yeah, so the, the tyres should be turning up today if the parcel force delivery man actually bothers to ring my doorbell like he didn't yesterday. He just put the blooming leaflet through, I'm sure of it, and then just buggered off. He just didn't want to unload them from the van, I bet. <laughs> now, whenever I come this way, I normally go right here because some of the journey on the right is really nice but some of it's rubbish so let's go this way yes yeah, so we've got the tyres ordered um, and they're turning up today uh, but I'm not going to have time to fit them before our next dirty bike outing which is on Friday not that, that makes any sense to you because this is in the past you're not with me right now you're in the future you are future people I'm a time traveller uh, so we've got a little dirt bike ride on Friday, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, get a Phil 480 out for that one, uh, which will be great to see him. I've not seen him since last year, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think we've got a Mr. Fish, uh, we've got an Andy, and I don't know whether we've got any others, but um, it'll, of course there'll be pairs. He's obviously Mr. Matt, he'll, he'll get us around the, the lanes and stuff like that. So it should be a really nice day out. 
I think the weather is turning after Friday. We're going to get some rubbish cold and wet again. So uh, I guess from then on in, there'll be less people wanting to come out. But I quite like it when it's cold and miserable. Or like splashing through puddles. <laughs> But I am so, so very much looking forward to this camping trip. I know it's a little while away and I shouldn't try and wish my life away for things that are happening in the future and what have you. Uh, but it is, it's really exciting for me. I really can't wait. Um, I think, oh Jesus man. I'm glad I wasn't looking at you or else I would have bricked myself. Come, come right across me there. Oh well, no one died. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's a big bike trip, so uh, we're all going to be out on the big bikes. Uh, means I've got to strap all my luggage on and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, it's always exciting when you've got a luggage strapped to your motorcycle. It's certainly far more exciting than throwing a dirt bike in the back of a van. And just yeah. Although that is very convenient, and that is the sort of thing I bought the van for, is to be able to chuck the dirt bike in there and uh, scoot off somewhere and go and explore some green lanes in that neck of the woods and I hope to do some of that this year it's easier to do in the summer than it is in the winter because obviously when I'm going to strange lanes I don't know what they're going to be like so I don't really if I'm going by myself want to be finding myself stuck in bogs and all that sort of things in unfamiliar territories so if I go in the summer with the bike then uh, yeah, the ground will be harder and I'm less likely to die. <laughs> Dying is something I want to avoid. I'm not quite sure what the route will be when we're down there, but it will be uh, awesome to explore the plains again. And very awesome to get camping with some good mates. Good mates. I very much enjoyed all the camping we did last year. Oh, by the way, uh, you can now pre-order your tickets for the Wild Southwest Rally for 2022. So if you fancy joining me down on that, um, which if you look back in my back catalogue from last year, you'll be able to see the fun we had down there. Um, yeah, I'll be down there. I don't know who else is going to be coming this time. I know Zomazet Biker said he is, uh, but I don't know about any of the others but I will try and drag some other people with me, no doubt, um, and you are all welcome to join me. And if you are going to be going, do let me know, because then we can make sure that we've got a pitch all together so that we can share barbecues and beers and stuff. It might only be five degrees out at the moment, or four degrees, depending on what part of the shade or sun you're in, but I'm absolutely toasty. I've got no drafts going into my top, which is the main thing that colds me off. Colds me off? Makes me cold when I'm on the bike, because the jacket's just a little bit too big for me. It's not too big for my waistline, unfortunately, which is why I had to choose this one. Uh, but yeah, normally I have a bit of a draft going down, but I remembered my snood today, so that sorted out that air gap. And my hands are nice and toasty, and these muffs with the heated grips on, they are on level two today. But yeah, well, I'm absolutely happy as Larry in the rucker. I know it's expensive, but I've never been disappointed with it. It's never let me down, and it's properly waterproof as well. I try to only wear it in the wintry months, or unless I know that I'm going to be going a longer distance and would be appreciative of the waterproofness and possible warmth, just because I want to keep it nice for the crappy weather. I've got lots of other kit to wear when the sun is shining and the weather is warm and the tarmac is dry. Talking about kit, I have recently got myself some new adventure bike kit, which I've been wearing on the beta recently, just to sort of get used to it. And it's very comfortable, it's some RST stuff, uh, it's their Pro Adventure line or something like that. Um, and it seems very well vented, it's too hot with the lining in. So even in winter, Doing the dirty bike stuff, well, I haven't got the winter lining in because it's just yeah, it's just too much um, heat there, which is just a crazy thing to be saying for winter time. But uh, yeah, it's more energetic doing the beta work. A 
I hope if any police are noticing that I gave it at least 1.5 metres of room. Yeah, then we've got the new highway rules, haven't we now? Where we've got the uh, priority of uh, responsibility. So pedestrians, everyone has to protect the pedestrians. The motorcyclists and above have to protect the cyclists. And the... Uh, which way do we want to go here? We'll go this way. And the cars and above have to protect the motorcycles. And the vans and above have to protect the cars. And the lorries have to think of everyone. Um, yeah, it's quite mad. I wonder where the onus of care comes with a bus, because obviously that's got like a million people in it. Or a train. They've got lots of people on it, but they're quite tough. Or a tank. <laughs> But yes, the highway code has changed, if you're not aware of it. There's this priority thing that we've got to uh, make sure that we look out for the people more vulnerable than us. And it's kind of a good thing. Um, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily been well written or stuff like that. But then I don't know how else they'd be able to write it better. Um, but yes, so if you come across a cyclist, now you have to give it 1.5 metres of room to overtake it. Which effectively means you have to treat it like it's a car. Uh, no, I don't have a problem with that. Although, all the cyclists you see on these YouTube videos are all angry little buggers, but they're always wobbling left and right all the way up and down the road thinking that they own it. They've got absolutely every right to be on there. I mean, I can't, I can't try and take that away from them, but they can't ride in a straight line. <laughs> Certainly not when going up hills. And I do get that it's quite tough when you're going up a hill. Uh, but at least carry on pedalling when you're going down it. I mean, if you're holding up all the traffic, pedal. <laughs> you're a menace if you don't. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm going to get all the all the cyclists ganging up on me now, aren't I? I know I've got a few of you that cycle as well as... Um, I don't want to go that one. Um, I know I've got a few of you that cycle as well as ride motorcycles. Oh, I still think cycles are stupid. <laughs> I did think about getting one of those e-bikes during the first lockdown. I had some money sitting in the bank and I thought it would be like, oh, I could do that. And that would give me a little bit of exercise crossed over with the ability to do some semi-distance on it. And maybe even some uh, trail riding and stuff. And I was like looking at the cost of it all. And then you're looking at around two and a half grand, I think. And I was just like, I don't really want to spend two and a half grand on something that I've got to actually pedal myself. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't. And then I got fat. And now I'm whinging about being fat. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy. Where's them cakes and pies? One of the guys I follow on Twitter was having a little rant about runners on the road wearing dark clothing, no lights, no reflectors and all that sort of thing. Running on dark roads and then whinging when people run them over. Yeah, uh, we've got to watch out for them too now. It's like... Surely there is still some kind of responsibility on the individual to make themselves less likely to get deadified by a vehicle running them over. I mean, something I've noticed a lot of is horse riders on the road. They all wear high-vis now, or at least a lot of them do. And I think that's brilliant. I, I do think that they need to uh, be careful of what high-vis they choose, because in certain times of the, the year, the yellow high-vis that most people have actually doesn't show up with the colour of the leaves that we have in the UK and the pink stuff is better or well, I guess orange if you're a man uh, but yeah the pink stuff is far better for uh, our sort of environment um, so I do wish more horse riders would wear the pink stuff because that makes them easier to be seen but the riders, cyclists and runners they just don't wear any so they just don't care I guess they just expect us to get out of their way for everything don't they oh well it's what it is. It's what it is. Cool. I'm having a little drip, aren't I? I'm having a little moan. I, I can assure you I am quite cheerful. How I started this video is how I am feeling. Very excited about the new year and what's going to happen in it. It's going to be brilliant. Just having a little wine. Just a little wine. Talking of wine, I've got some wine in the fridge. I'm going to have that tonight, I think. Head corn. I'm sure that's where you can do skydiving from. I really wish I hadn't hurt myself doing that. And that I could continue it but it's just too risky it's bad enough to be playing with motorcycles but jumping out of perfectly good aeroplanes yeah it's a I wasn't very good at it <laughs> I was all about the falling bit 
That bit I had to turn into a T. It was the landing afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah! Bit of a weird one this video. I don't really think it had much direction other than hopefully a big old hint of positivity about what 2022 has in store for us. Certainly for me. Um, with some surprises as well. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, so if you look up there and up there you'll see two videos that you might not have seen yet and you might enjoy them. You might not. Or you might have seen them already. If you haven't looked at them, do take a look and uh, yeah, if you look up there you'll see the subscribe button. So why not give that a little press?